Hi guys and welcome to another full tour video. Uh, this is the latest production line model. Uh, it's the New Venture New Rio Micro based on the Citroen Dispatch 2 litre turbo diesel. Uh, take you for a walk around the outside. As you can see we've got the, uh, the double glazed sights, windows, built in blinds and fly screens. Uh, we've got the awning up there, the gas compartment, fridge vents at the back, uh, water filler there as well and obviously the uh, the awning points are the side. We've got a uh, Hartle back door. The window there, that's got a blind on it as well. We've got the electric step at the bottom. Next is the exit door for the toilet. Uh, I'm not too sure if you can see on top or not, but there is uh, an aerial up there as well, TV aerial. We've got the 240 hook up, we've got the, uh, the drain off points, there's one on the other side as well, that's for the waste water. Uh, I'll just quickly show you the, uh, the cab. Two single seats at the front, and it is uh, a nice dashboard on this one as well. Uh, six gears. Hopefully, around the back now. Underneath, we've got fresh uh, and waste tank. I'll show you them. See the fresh tank on the side. Waste tank. Okay, moving inside now. So as soon as you walk into the micro, you met on your left-hand side with the uh, the kitchen. Uh, you've got a bit of storage down here. The isolation taps there for the gas. Uh, Three-way fridge, uh, mains, gas, and 12-volt electric. Move inside. The cutlery drawer there as well. Uh, over the top there, we've got a combination of and sink. Two burner over the top. Uh, we've got the uh, lockers. Plenty of room over the kitchen locker there, and then to the left there we've got the uh, the sergeant system that you're probably familiar with. What we what we fit uh, underneath. We've got uh, LED strip lighting on this one. Right, Im immediately facing the. Uh, the kitchen area we have the uh, the toilet compartment so we've got a locker at the back there creates more storage we've got the tip-up sink we've got the uh, toilet as well and we're in there and we've got the uh, the pole there for the aerial I believe there's some core tubes on there as well yeah LED lighting and we've got the uh, the roof vent up there as well. Uh, quite a spacious toilet compartment as well, considering it's a, a small vehicle. Okay, so moving forward, we have the the lounge area. Uh, now, normally on the micro, uh, it would come with two bench seats, uh, but this cu customer's uh, specifically re specifically <laughs> requested uh, a dinette seating area on the left hand side here. Over the top there we've got uh, some 240 sockets and over the top of here we've got uh, some lockers, plenty of storage in them. Uh, we've got some, uh, I found the switch for that actually, some nice uh, decorative storage uh, going on there. Uh, we've got um, some more lockers on the other side as well and that's the booster for the TV aerial 
at the front. Uh, these are actually an optional extra of the doors on the front on the micro. Normally, um, this would be uh, an open plan storage, if you will. Um, but the customer's requested the doors on the front of this one. But there's plenty of storage over the over the cab area there, as you can see. We've got the mounting there for the um, mounting points there for the uh, for the awning, the awning rail. Um, again, let me show you the cab area from this angle. Bolstered cab seats as well, and the uh, the bench seat here. What I will do, um, I will remove the cushions uh, and I'll show you underneath the beds. Okay, cushions removed, I'll show you underneath the beds. So the forward facing seat here, uh, some storage in there and obviously we're housing the, uh, the water pump in there as well. Uh, I'll just show you this as well, I don't think I showed you this on the last micro. Um, but there is extra flap there for extra uh, kitchen working surface obviously once you you remove the uh, the headrest that comes into play then uh, on the other side the rear facing seat uh, we've got the um, leisure battery and we've got the uh, the surgeon kit in there and obviously there's still a bit of storage in there as well and as you can see the tables drop down now and that's how you would make up the bed as well um, on that side on this one uh, there's plenty of storage under this side. Uh, the customer chose not to go with a heater on this one, so there's there's plenty of room on this side. Them pipes are in there just in case they do decide to have one at a later date, um, so they can be fitted in. But plenty of storage there, as you can see. And to make the bed up, it's uh, the system you've seen us use before. You just pull the slats across, and that makes up. Uh, a big double bed. There's also um, some flaps at either end of these seats as well if, if you need the extra extra length as well to make it up but uh, it is a big bed anyway. Um, so that's what we're up to at the minute. Um, oh, I'm not sure you the uh, hickey roof fence and we've got LEDs all around as well. There is another vent at the back there over the kitchen. Um, but again, uh, many thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any questions um, that you want to ask, please feel free to either give us a ring or drop us an email or even put it in the comments section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, but yeah, once again, many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.